Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And I uh, wanted to quickly give you guys an update, some things that are going on. Uh, also sharing with you this article right here on Daily Mail. A good friend of mine sent this to me earlier today. Putin now plays havoc in space. U.S. accuses Russia of dangerous and irresponsible behavior after seven uh, ISS astronauts were forced to take refuge in lifeboat pods after the Kremlin anti-satellite missile test sent 1,500 pieces of debris flying. Uh, the article is very interesting in light of some of the intel that I'm hearing about right now. In fact, I'd heard about the intel even before I got the article here. Uh, the United States lashed out at Russia for its dangerous, irresponsible behavior by conducting an anti-satellite weapons test that created a field of 1,500 pieces of debris, endangering the crew of the International Space Station. Well, the funny thing is, uh, there are some very serious concerns we have right now of a comet that is inbound uh, that's going to basically play like a billboard, knocking the, 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 the balls all over the pool table, uh, that they're very concerned about right now. The Pentagon scientists are racing against time to determine what is supposed to happen, what will be the mathematic equations. Uh, it is anticipated to hit some of the uh, Tarad uh, rocks that, are, that we go through by annually there. And so therefore we may possibly, don't know for sure as of yet, but sometime in December, that could end up causing us some problems here on Earth there. Still, they're not sure as of yet, still early stages, still waiting on some of the math to come back to find out what we'd be facing. But I just find it interesting that we get this article come out uh, right at the time that I'm already hearing the other information, which normally is a cover story there to kind of, you know, keep you from uh, thinking that this is really rocks from space falling on us, but rather some irresponsible actions of the Russians. Boy, Russia sure does get blamed for everything, don't they? Uh, anyway, listen, we do have a lot of information going on, a lot of things I'm wanting to share with you guys on Patreon as well, uh, but we do need you to keep in mind my father-in-law who's in the hospital. Uh, we are here with him 24 hours a day because as you know already, the situation that people face when you're in the hospital, I apologize, I got something in my eye while I'm trying to record here, but uh, so it's made it a little bit more difficult for me to be able to do uh, to work and we're trying to figure out a way to best make that work as well. And also, it's kind of funny because EMP Shield is up here on an advertisement, but listen, if you're planning on still getting an EMP Shield, don't forget your code INL50. It will save you 50 bucks rather than buying it off of one of the advertisement sites here. Uh, and there are some issues that we could possibly face that would really warrant that being an important uh, device to have on your car and on your home. Those are the two main things that I encourage it on. But at any rate, don't want to waste time uh, discussing those things right now. Uh, please, if you would, though, if God leads you, support the work we do. I know our website was down. We didn't know that at all at the time. But IsraeliNewsLive.org, you can support the ministry of God lays that upon your heart. You can do so by visiting our website, which seems like it's taken forever to load because of where I'm at. Uh, but at any rate, there, right there at the top right-hand portion of the screen, when you happen to load on there, you're able to uh, just click on there to be able to donate online, or you'll see our mailing address as well. Uh, if it ever pops up on this screen, our mailing address there, which would be uh, Stephen Benoon at P.O. Box 156, Sunbright, Tennessee 37872. Boy, the internet's so slow here, it's not even popped up as of yet. 